Welcome to Scratchy Sunday. This is part two of our wizard shooting magic to our lizard game. If you have not yet seen the part one, please refer to our Scratch Junior playlist. I'm Mason from Money Mason. Okay, let's take a look at our game. With the up and down yellow arrow, player can move the wizard up and down. When a player tap on the wizard from the tip of his magic wand, a star representing the magic power will fly across the stage. If the star hits the lizard, the player wins. All right. This is part two. Now we have to work on the lizard. Let's pick the character. If you have any problem installing Scratch Junior on a PC, please refer to my other video. Here is the lizard. Let me move it to the position. And as usual, I would like to make it smaller. Let's use the purple block again to shrink it. Okay, it is about the right size. Let's move it to the edge of the stage. And we should start to compose a script for the lizard. I want it to start moving when our game starts. So I pick the green flag. The lizard should move up always. I want it to keep going as long as the player hasn't won. So I attach the red repeat forever block at the end of this script. So the lizard will move up forever. Mm -mm. But do you think it is a bit dull? And if it moves at a constant speed, it will be an easy target. So let's make it a bit jumpy. Test it. Cool. I like it better this way. As a side note, you can observe which block is currently doing its thing. See? The color of the block will become deeper when it is currently working. Okay. Now let's test it in a full screen mode. Let me see if the wizard can move up and down while the lizard is always moving up. Okay, the star is also working fine but at this moment when the star touches the lizard nothing will happen and we have got a second problem too the star stuck there after the wizard firing his magic power i see the star as some kind of bullet here okay now we have two problems first i want to work on the second problem <laughs> we should find a way to retrieve the star and fire it out again. Because we are only using one star, the character, in this game. My plan is that if the star hits something, not the lizard, it should hide itself and go back to the tip of the magic wand. So let's create the something. A new character. A black bar. If you have no idea how to use this paint editor, I have a video in the playlist about character creation. Okay, let's position the black bar at the far edge of the stage. And the size is not right. I want it to be bigger, at least as tall as the stage. Okay, a bit smaller. It is out of my sight. Let me put it here and bigger. One more time. Bigger. Okay. Okay, okay. This should be okay. Let's do a rough test on it first before we move it to the far edge of the stage. Our idea is that when it bumps with the star, it should send out a green message to the star, of course, and make the star hide itself and return to the tip of the magic wand. Okay, let's focus on the star. When it receives the green message, 
which is sent out by the bar. The star should hide itself. We should use the purple block. And then it should travel across the stage in the opposite direction back to the tip of the wand. Don't forget our end block. The script for the ball is simple. For the star, I think the distance is a bit short. 16 would be better. Let's test it. Okay. Hmm. I discovered there is another problem. Let me detach the rest of the script from the green message and see if the star is successfully reaching the black bar. It does. And I have a way to test if the bar is sending out the green message. Let's make the star say hi if it receives a green message. Let's test again. It says hi and hi again. Again and again. Why? It is because the star keeps touching the black bar. It does not move away once it touches the bar. So the bar keeps sending out the message. One time, two time, three time. To resolve this problem, we can make either one of the character to hide itself after touching each other. In our case, I would like to make the bar hide itself after bumping into the star. Let's drag out the purple block like this, attach it back, and we can test it again. Okay, tap, it touches the bar, and it just says hi once. All right, let me reattach the scripts and block. Okay, in the next video, we will compose the script for the lizard. So when the star hits the lizard, Scratch Jr. will turn the page to the new win screen. Furthermore, we will have to solve another new problem. The problem will make us turn the wizard into a bat when the star is traveling across the stage. Let's discuss it in the next video. If you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. And we have many Scratch Junior videos in this channel. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. It's nice to meet you on YouTube. See you soon.